This is the last section of the Euler circuits chapter, uh, Eulerizing graphs. All right, so uh, for this last part, what we're going to do when we're given a graph, we want to find some exhaustive routes, and uh, the goal here is to find a route that recrosses the fewest number of edges, which we're going to call a deadhead when we have to recross. So sometimes, inevitably, we are just going to have to recross because we have no other choice. Uh, what we want, though, is to have to recross the least amount of times possible. Uh, Eulerizing is the process of adding edges in strategic places, leaving zero odd vertices. So it's like we're, if we, if we add, it's kind of like adding a fake edge on top of another edge, and we can recross that. Um, new edges must be duplicate of, duplicates of existing edges. And, uh, and semi-olarizing leaves two odd vertices in the graph. So um, sometimes maybe you want to start and end at opposite places or different places, like a parade, for example. And we'll, uh, we'll talk about that in a, as an example towards the end here. Uh, okay, here's the example. So olarizing graphs. Uh, first, let's identify the odd vertices. This graph and they're already marked in red here. There are eight of the odd vertices. That's way too many. There's no way that a circuit or a path is possible. Um, the odd vertices here are B, C, L, E, K, F, I, and H. Um, all right. So what we're going to have to do is polarize those. We're going to have to add an extra edge to make those not odd. So here's the next step, um, and that and that is shown here. We've got the extra edge added on the B, C. So now instead of B having a degree 3, it has degree 4. And uh, degree ha C has degree 4 instead of 3 as well. And you can see the same thing happening with E and F, I and H, and L and K. So this is the Eulerized version of the original graph. Uh, now we're going to be able to recross those edges. Well, kind of recross. Again, we're taking that extra edge as a step to get back to where we need to go. All right, and this is the graph that shows, uh, you know, a possible Euler circuit with the edges numbered. There's a, probably more than one way to do this. This is just one way with all the steps listed, and you can see in here uh, how those steps or how those extra edges really help us out in the end when we get, uh, you know, let's see, let me get black pin here. So the first step, 1 to 2, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here we'd, we'd have to recross uh, 1 or 2, or you know, BA or BC. So that's why we add that extra edge to get over there. Um, yes, it's kind of cheating. I mean, it's, it's not hitting everything once and only once, but in some circumstances that's what you have to do to be able to get it done and what we want to do is minimize the amount of extra steps that we have to take so finishing up this particular problem um, we have 28 blocks that we have to go through to you know to cross each edge and four or 24 of them are regular and then we just have the four deadhead blocks which are really just the duplicate edges that we had to add on to make sure that this could be done. And uh, it's, and sometimes we want a, a complete circuit, and that's good, but sometimes we don't need a, con a complete circuit. Sometimes we just want a path, and it's okay to start and uh, end a different spot. So here's our starting point for this one. Here's our ending point. Notice that we left B and P as odd, and that, that's what we want to do when we want a path. Uh, same thing in the second graph here. B has degree 3 and K has degree 3. Every other vertex in that entire graph is even except those two. So we can we can really choose whichever points we want uh, for a path for the starting and ending points. Alright, so this slide just kind of reiterates that. Um, again, if we want paths, we just leave two vertices as odd uh, and we'll choose those as the start and end location. This is called semi-olarization of the graph. Uh, again, this is the case where I start at one of the two odd vertices and end at the other one. So looking back on the entire chapter, uh, we've gone over 
the general concept of what a graph is, uh, created by Euler some two seven, 270 years ago. Uh, so make sure you're familiar with your terminology, your vocab words. Uh, we've got the concept of a graph model, so taking a word problem and creating a model for that problem and then answering whatever kind of questions will go along with that. Um, and third, the concept of an algorithm. So there were a couple different theorems we went over, and uh, it's helpful to remember those because instead of you know taking a lot of time to try to solve out if something has a circuit or not, or a path or not, um, if you just know the rules, you can just look at it and tell right away so you can solve the problems much more quickly.